Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing Black Clover, um, chapter 285, 285, titled A Hellish Game of Card. <clears throat> um, of course, spoiler warning, we'll be discussing, breaking down, spoiling. If you haven't read the chapter, pause this and come back. Um, so yeah, let's dive straight into it. <coughs> so, the chapter begins, and we get a little card that says a few minutes before Noel and the other arrive. others arrive. So this is of course um, a glimpse of what happened before. So, we see the first panel is, um, we see Dante standing there, we see Nox standing there, we see the Twin Devil, and Nox says that uh, right now, the um the main thing their top priority is to close the gate and defeat the um dark triad but to do so he needs to separate dante from um these two top demons being the twins and we see the thing the twins are speaking now while the devils and they're like let's play slowly carefully yes let's and we see um <coughs> they're a bit sadistic that they like torment, break, toy with, kill, yes yes and then we cut to Dante laughing hysterically and he's like brilliant this is what the world, this is the world he wanted that because we know that's what he actually said he wanted and he's going crazy and the twins look at him and says uh, the twins look at him and say this one looks amusing too but they're like um but this is Lucifero's toy Ah, toy. I like the word they use, toy. Then we see Jack. Jack is still up and he, he looks over to um, Dante and he tells him, um, you're fighting me, remember? And he tells him, I'll slash you up, I swear. And we see Dante smiling and he's like, interesting. Next we cut to Nap now and he's talking to um, the bird-like devil that he has and his name is... um. I can't remember. Wagner. 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 Not sure if it would be Wagner or Wagner. But uh, apparently Nox sent him on a mission and he's back. And he says, yeah, he completed what um, he sent him to do. And Nox is like, alright. And he does Devil Union Gallus and he transforms into his next Union mode. And this one looks really cool because it looks like, um, remember back in the day when they had the plague, how the plague doctors would have the bird masks on kind of the long pointy note. This looks similar to that with the same hat, the big outfit. So I'll throw that up on the screen as well somewhere to compare. And we see, uh, <clears throat> he does something called characteristic call. Yes, that's an attack. And we see demons freeze basic. Well, the devils freeze kinda basically on the spot. And we see Nock begins to like around them. Hands come out of a shadow and grab them and pull them under. And all three of them disappear and they reappear in some abandoned part of the castle. It looks like a chapel because there's pews and candles and whatever. So it looks like a church. And now, the Twin Devils mention, you know, he froze us for a moment and he transported us. How amusing. And Nock is like, I'll be your opponent, Devils. And Nock finally decides to go all out now. He uses Manor's own dark prison hunting ground. This is a movie used against Asta. <clears throat> and he says, let this game of tag begin, this hellish game of tag. And we see him bouncing around, attacking them. And the Devils begin to speak again. <clears throat> in their weird way and he's like I can't see neither can I let's play with this power yes let's we'll compete to kill him oh yes but we won't fight in earnest agreed slowly carefully so it seems that they're enjoying this and they also don't want to rush it to finish it too quick because they're trying to take their time and enjoy and play with now so yeah sadistic we next get a huge panel again of Nock jumping around, firing off attacks. 
and he appears behind one of them and he uses um, his next mode Equus that is the kind of tanky tanky ish one that looks like an oxen kind of um, <clears throat> uses that and hits one and the one he hits is like found you and is smiling and you know not finally realizes that you know his attacks aren't doing anything they're not damaging them and that their magic is endless or it's very huge so all he could do now is keep evading their attacks until he dies and um, stall them in this, this area where he um, put them. And then we get more of them speaking. <clears throat> I enjoy the way they speak. I can't wait for the anime to animate this whenever it does come back after March ends. Would be, I hope they have a creepy tone of voice. But they're like, good. Yes, good. You are so fast. But then... And yet, why? Why don't you run away? And <clears throat> he says, um, he can't forgive them and their unjust evil. And that's why he's alive. And we cut now and we get a flashback. <clears throat> and we see a title card again and it says, The House of Faust is a distinguished noble family and they had twin sons and we see Noct and a next guy with long hair smoking a cigarette and we see that they say the younger son was a very good man who was beloved by many and he joined the magic knight the magic knight sorry saving people and then they say the next one people disapproved of him he used his magic arbitrarily not only for himself as Noct's twin brother <clears throat> and we see Noct and him talking now and Noct is asking him if he won't join the magic knight he's like don't be an idiot and we see Yami appear now because <laughs> why not and Yami is like mission time and he's like understood Yami so we see Noct and Yami actually have some form of a good relationship or hard one and we see also Yami interacted with Nox's brother, so they had some sort of friendship as well. And Nox's brother is like, well, here's another way though. And Yami's like, it's crazy that a guy like you joined up with the knights. The robe is not your look. And basically, we have a back and forth between Yami and Nox's brother. And they're like, I didn't see you there. You're still in your bad boy phase, and it's embarrassing. And then, um, uh, Nox's brother is telling Yami, you're, you're not different, you're not that much different, you two get along, and I think this is Nox saying you two always get along so well. And Nox's brother, I believe, says, are you blind, Morgan, 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 I believe it's Morgan, so I'll go with Morgan, until I hear official pronunciation. And Yami tells him that, you know, just don't go too crazy to the point where we have to haul you in. And Nox brother is like, Nox, right back at you, moron. And it ends there. So, <clears throat> um, let's discuss what this chapter has. So basically, we finally see the final union form of Nox. So we've seen all his forms now, I believe. All four. Um, <clears throat> we see the twin devils are toying with Nox, trying to enjoy this. We see Jack is still up and he's going to try to fight Dante. So yeah, we also see a bit of Nox's backstory. Uh, I'm interested to see if his brother did die, and that is why he's so upset and changed from what he looked like he was then, because then he looks happy. And now he looks pissed off and mad at the world. We've seen that since he's been introduced, so maybe we'll get an answer to why. Um. <clears throat> We know, of course, Nock loses this battle because in the previous chapter when it ended, we saw him strung up in ice. So I'm interested to see where this goes, how they're going to deal with this. Um, I want to see more of Nock's backstory though. It seems interesting and see if there's any connection to Asta. Because he has been treating Asta fairly good compared to other people. Um, <clears throat> we know he believes in Jack now at least because he's left Jack to deal with Dante. Then we have the twins saying that Dante is Lucifero's 
toy. Um, it could be nothing, but the way they said it, as to me at least, makes it seems that, of course, he's using um, the Dark Triad just to bring Devils out. I mean, Dante might be fine with that, I guess, but <coughs> it kind of is suspicious with the wording, the wording that is. So yeah, um, this chapter was basically a fight chapter. There's not really much to discuss because, like I said, we saw the new moves finally or the new form. It looks like the Plague Doctor. Um, <coughs> but aside from that, Noct is just stalling for time. Um, I guess he's hoping Asta shows up to help him. So maybe Asta will show up in time to help him. But that's it for this review discussion. Um, if you all enjoyed it, drop a like, sub, share, leave what you think and your thoughts down below. And I'll see you all in the next one.